Hi guys, today I've got a video that is a little bit exciting and kind of, wow, it's a little bit all over the place. I have a really, really, really big stationery and art haul and I've got a lot of stationery, I've got a lot of art supplies and I wanted to kind of show you all some little bits that you might not have seen. I sometimes upload on my vlog channel so if you go check out the link in the description. My, um... My vlog channel is called Sparkbat and uh, you can check it out and I don't upload very often but I'm trying to do like more one take style vlogs that I've called micro vlogs that I hope you guys might like. So I bought a ton of stuff from Sainsbury's and they were like clearing everything out and I think I'm gonna have to go back because there was a lot of very very cheap stuff. Stuff that I would never have bought full price but I'm just like stationary. And it's convention season soon. We've got London Expo, which I'm fully booked for. And then Manchester Expo, which I'm going to be booking soon, hopefully. There's a lot to prepare for. So I've got some sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. I've got a box on the floor from Cassart that arrived yesterday that I haven't opened yet. And I've kind of forgotten what I've ordered. Oops. So uh, I think what I will do is swap to the top down view for the camera and you guys can watch me go through what I've got and um, I will link as much as I can, I can't link everything but I will try my hardest and um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! Why do I always say bye? Like the video is going to continue, why do I always say bye? It's like, oh watch the rest of the video, bye! Like. Okay, that makes so much sense. Aha, uh -huh. now I remember what I bought. <laughs> so this is a lot of stationery. <laughs> this isn't like all of it either. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff here that I would never have bought if it wasn't ridiculously cheap. Most of these things were under a pound and they weren't in this little whole thing. No. <laughs> Most of these things were under a pound, like 30 pence and 75 pence. And I was just like, just stuck my arm out and just like pushed them onto the basket. <laughs> um, after a while, I think my mate Ash was like, mm, can we go now? <laughs> so cheap. So these were all from Sainsbury's. I have a Sainsbury's down the road that's, that's quite good. And they were just getting rid of a ton of stuff. So, if you've got Sainsbury's near you, go check out their stationery section and, like, raid it. So, I got these tape discs. Um, you can never go wrong with sticky tabs like this, especially if you are in the convention scene. These were, like, 75 pence, down from, like, four pounds. <laughs> You're going to hear that a lot. So, tape discs, and I, I presume that they are... Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think they are... Uh, removable so I'd have to remember that but these seem pretty cool um, they're single-sided so you like stick stuff down so if I'm like sealing up anything and I don't need tape then I'm just like yeah so there's them speaking of tape I got one of these pop-up tape handband dispenser I feel like Ashens <laughs> and it's one of these that you stick on your hand and then there's like pre-cut tape and the, the, these, the, this was like a pound and these were like 75 pence so I was just like I'm gonna stock up on those that's pretty cool it's good for Christmas I guess um, and I will be taking it to a convention so that's that's pretty awesome I got a Tipex mouse because I never okay like like violin world's smallest violin type everyone had these in school and I never had the money and I was a poor single parent child on the poverty line and I never had um tipex because it was very expensive and this was like 50 pence and I was like wow never had one of the mouse ones before and mine that I got in Hong Kong that I've mentioned before my my Mr Whisper if you've been around my channel for a while um, is nearly all out and I'm sad so I got myself a Tipex pocket mouse. Whoa, look at that mouse. <laughs> Not to be confused with this kind of mouse. Ha ha ha. Um, so I decided to get more pens than I'll ever need because these were cheap. Like 30 pence or something stupid for, for beak spirals. 
and they only had the blue on offer um, in this size and that's pretty good I will I, I like to write in blue anyway but uh, Ryan likes to write in black so I was gonna get him some of those but um, they they only had blue on offer unfortunately but they also had these crystal fun and when I see these I remember the absolute shocking controversy that they had because they labeled these as like big for her or something like that and said like and they marketed them as these like delicate feminine um pens for for, for ladies <laughs> um but now they're called crystal fun and i am really excited because there's like my favorite colors other than yellow and then also from Beak. I'm not sponsored by the way, I just spent too much money. I got highlighters, but these are really cool. They're like pen, weird grippy pens and handling comfort with a chisel nib. And um, no, no one really needs highlighters that much, but why not? Because, you know, they were like 30 pens. <laughs> so to justify purchasing another pair of scissors, I noticed that these had a really nice grip that's very squishy. Like, can you see that? Look how squishy that is. And Ash was like, your hands will thank you when I'm cutting. Um, they don't work left-handed, I don't think. No. That's a good job, I'm right-handed. My, my hands will thank me when I'm cutting all of those stickers and they are a lot more comfortable. I'm currently using these. And you can see the difference in the handles, and I'm really, really excited to try these and see if it'll make a difference. The blades are shorter, I think. No, no, I think they're the same size, but they they have a different end. Like, they look a bit sharper, a bit more tidy, and I'm really, 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 really excited. Really excited for those. I've always wanted, like, fancy-ass looking scissors, and now I have some. <laughs> And if you are a convention goer, a convention artist, look at this. My, my background for my other video is hecked up, so I've got like stuff everywhere. This is just such a laid back video, guys. This isn't anything special, but yeah. So if you are a convention artist, I cannot recommend anything more than fold back or bulldog clips. You will thank me if you get something like this, because if your display thing goes down or you want to hang up prints or you want to do anything and it is just these are these will save your life so i got fold back clips in various very nice colors i already have a ton of these um fold back clips and i call them all bulldog clips but i've got pink and black ones um that i got from wilkinson's ages ago i have a few more i have some with little crystal crystals on that Mel got me and they're really sweet um, and then these are bulldog clips and I am also pretty chuffed with these I got two packets of these as well so yes <laughs> the last thing I got from Sainsbury's that wasn't food was this uh, pucker pad and this was like what I think this was like £1.50 and it was the last one and it's a project book and it has all these tabs down the side and it's really nice colours and the plastic makes that sweet sweet ASMR sound so I might even do an ASMR video where I write stuff it's got like paper sizes and conversion charts and all sorts of cool stuff in this so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use this for comic book and story writing in general because who doesn't like a fresh, clean notebook for story writing? <laughs> or even in general. But I was I was really happy with that. I was the last one and I was like, grab. I don't need it. I don't need it, but I wanted it. It's so good, so good. Ah. So all together, like this, excluding them two. Uh, there, that. Enough pens to start a pen shop. All of this, 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 this came to twelve pounds, and I was like, "Whoa!" My food came to more. My food came to more than that, and I only got stuff for like bolognese and maybe some crisps. I don't know. I can't remember. I dropped it all on the floor. Oh, 
So, for the next stuff, like leaving all that stationery in a pile to one side, go on, move. I got some various art supplies, and I'm going to start off with these. When I ordered the cheap stuff for my cool pen, for, from Cool Pens for my cheap pencil case video, I also got myself three of the Pentel brush, touch brush sign pens and they are gorgeous, they are not waterproof and it's such a shame because if they were waterproof I probably, you'd never see me again, I'd just be covered in these and they are really really nice and really really soft and ugh, I don't see them lasting very long but they're just, they're like a cheaper version of a food a pen basically but not waterproof thing is with Fude pens is that they tend to only come in like one colour. So I've got yellow ochre, black and grey. And they're just so nice but they are very 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 much a water based ink and I really like them. They're so soft and they were three for two currently on Cult Pens. Whoop, whoop. They're about two pounds each, so they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but they're still cheaper than a Fudo pen. But like I said, if you are going to apply, I haven't tried alcohol markers with them. Um, I don't know. I haven't got one to hand right now, but they might work. But I, I, I'm not sure. But they are very nice. They'd be very nice for just sketchbook work. So yeah. So the next thing that arrived was this sketchbook that was sent to be my by Mel. Um, if you come to my streams it's uh, Mel Skunk, she's on Tumblr as Mel Skunk and she's so sweet. Um, it's who I'm actually going to be moving in with in Canada. So it's it's incredible. Um, she's so sweet and so lovely and she saw this and it's yellow and she wanted to... I ran out of uh, my last sketchbook and she was like okay I'll go find you a sketchbook over here that you might like. And she sent it, and she sent it by uh, ground mail, so it took a bit longer. She's like, "I've never sent anything ground mail again." But Canada mail, you are very expensive, Canada mail. Holy smokes! So yeah, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so smooth. The the paper is like so white and gorgeous, and it's thicker. I do believe it's either the same thickness as the Moleskin Art Plus. It might be thicker. This is 160, I can't remember what the moleskin ones are, it might be the same, um, but definitely thicker than the Ryman's, which is 110, but it, it's a lot smoother. This this will take markers very, very well, and as you can see, it's currently unstickered. Do my sketchbooks last like that? No, they don't. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you something else that arrived in the post. So I am a big fan of stickers, as you may know. <laughs> And I do like to purchase stickers from artists and I also get them from like Paper Chase. This is actually a wallet that I put in my um, planner that has the majority of my stickers in. Not all, but the majority of my stickers. So I have like sheet stickers at the back here that are all from like Paper Chase or there's Bailey's stickers and yeah. So um, those go in there for now because what I would like to introduce you to are Redbubble stickers and I do have stickers from other artists I've got these two here I might put I've been waiting to use these because they're so gorgeous but I don't know I don't know I don't want to because the thing with Redbubble stickers is I can reorder them again but these came from an artist um, I can never remember the name but I'll try and find out for you I've also got one of their prints. Um, I also have some Winter Shades uh, Corrupted Jasper Puppies because they're really cute. Um, I think I've used the other one. Yeah. Look, so cute, but also makes me sad. <laughs> but yes, Redbubble is so good for stickers. So, so good for stickers. So I'll show you the ones that I have. If you go on my Redbubble profile, you'll see everything that I've saved and everything that I've bought I should have saved. Um, with a like so you can see my liked products. I also sell my own stickers on Redbubble and I will show you the quality of Redbubble stickers because they are stunning. This is the small size. This 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 is the small size sticker. You can get like massive chunky stickers. So they're all done by artists um, and it's like a third party printer that prints them. So there's um, this Jasper that says beefcake on her shirt. 
Um, one of Picchio's Amethyst. I love Amethyst with a septum ring. She just looks really good. A bumblebee. Some of these you might have seen before. Um, I've, I've already put purchased these ones um, before, but I got some new ones. So I have a Heaven and Earth Beetle, which I'm definitely going to put on here. I got a Midna. So these are my new ones. I got Midna. Um, Smash Brothers disc, which I really like that. <laughs> um, oh no, that's a present for Andreas. That's been spoiled. <laughs> this is a present for Andreas. Um, that should be in my drawer, actually. Um, Majora's Mask in pastel. Um, a Wind Waker. Like, oh, why why can I not remember the name of the artist? It's like one of my favourite artists. and I, I, anyway, It's a parody. <laughs> um... A Sheikah Slate, which I won't put on this one, but I'm going to put it on a black sketchbook because it looks really cool. Um, a Sidon, I believe in you. <laughs> this, which is absolutely stunning, look at this. It's Stephen, Pearl, Amethyst and Garnet's hands. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh that's so nice. An Off Sticker. Um, I've actually contacted the artist about this because I would like this as a tattoo. So, <laughs> and they haven't got back to me yet. Um, this trippy, do not worry, it's not your eyes, it's not the camera. Um, I'm sorry if this hurts anyone's eyes, but it's it's um, like meant to be like a 3D style thing. Um, from off, and then this one, I think Andrea sent me this one. I can't remember. Andrea sent me one of Jasper's. But I'm not sure which one's to put on. I'm definitely going to put a Heaven and Earth Beetle on. And I've already peeled it because I was going to stick it on another thing. And then I was like, no, no, I'm going to save it for this sketchbook. So the, the quality of the stickers are really good. They're really thick and this, they smell good. <laughs> so uh, I might put this dead in the middle. It's not super in the middle, but... I don't mind because I have the elastic that goes over it and I don't like to put anything too close to the elastic but yeah that looks so cute ah! <laughs> and because it's a really good solid hardcover it's it's oh hello it's not gonna peel the sticker off or anything so yeah that's so sweet <laughs> and thank you to Mel for sending me up the sketchbook and thank you to all you incredible artists who put stuff on Redbubble that makes me cry because I can't buy everything Red bubble stickers are really good, and if you want to check out any of my artwork on stickers or like tote bags and stuff, I have a red bubble in the description. Okay, and the final thing before my battery runs out is I got some stuff from Casa. I won't be able to show you everything because it won't fit on camera. It physically won't fit on camera. Nice thing about Casa is they really do take care of the stuff that you order, so they wrap it up really well. Oh boy, those are some big things. So these are clips made by Loxley and they are super, whoa, that's like a, a workout. Like I can take these to the gym. Um, super, super strong board clips and I'm going to use these for stretching my watercolor paper. Um, and they only had this size left, so I was, gonna, I was gonna get smaller ones, but they only had that size left, so. They're pretty cool. The next thing was I got a new portfolio and um, I got sleeves to go in it. Oh look, I didn't know they had coloured ones. I didn't see coloured ones. Oh well. So these are sleeves. Um, I haven't purchased proper portfolio sleeves um, because my last portfolio was stolen. Um, well, these are like portfolio sleeves, but they like they're not like the super thick, really awesome high end ones. These are like more like um, plastic wallets. Yes, that's the one. Um, but they are a lot lighter, and it should be easier on my back because boy, did the other one weigh a lot. So I have a uh, fifteen sheet, and I put in my prints for display at a convention. And I also have the portfolio, but it won't fit. And it's the A3 Quartz portfolio. Ta-da! 
and it's very soft and lightweight and this is the one I actually had before um, and I like it a lot. I really like this portfolio. It's super affordable and it's super nice and I needed it for Canada again. And May Expo is coming up so yeah. <laughs> and then I will have to get some new watercolour paper because I was running out. And I bought my favourite, which is the 6x8 fluid cold press. You know, you know this boy got his free tuck. <laughs> Why is that vine constantly in my head? Okay, so um, this is my favourite watercolour paper and my battery is flashing at me. So I'm going to have to end this pretty quickly. Um, yeah, and I also bought Ampersand's Aqua Board, which I'm very excited to try. It's, it's, it's solid wood with watercolour paper on one side. And then I bought Cassart's own watercolour postcards and these are so sweet and so tiny and I like, I like them very much and the pattern's really nice as well, so. Oh, it's very, very thick paper. I like that a lot. Um, I've heard good things about Cassart's own watercolour paper, so I thought I would try it out. But I think that is everything um if there's anything i've missed i will add it on because my battery is going to die but if not thank you so much for watching guys if you've got any questions about any of the products please put them in the dis in the comment section and i'll do my best to reply to you and if you have any stationery hauls i would love to see them i love those kinds of videos so please link them below and i love you guys thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye